Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Got a question for you. You believe in Islam? That's what you said? No, his father. Oh, your father what? Your father is in the Islam religion, right? Right, okay. Deuteronomy 2860. You read it sometimes, right? How do we learn the Islam religion? Bring it out. Don't leave, come over here. What's your name, by the way? Who? Nas, my name's Evan. How do we learn that religion? I can show you in the Bible, God documented how we was going to get into Islam, into Christianity, into atheism, Buddhism, all these religions that we learned, God documented that it was going to happen to the Israelites. Read this, watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 64. Bring it out. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from one end of the earth, even to the other. So the book of Deuteronomy, do you know who it was written to? Let me show you. Go to Deuteronomy 1 verse 1. Because what you got to understand, right, is this whole Bible was given to the Israelites. The Israelites today, according to the curses that happened to us, slavery on slave ships, being sold to the white man, and the Arabs selling us in slavery, the same ones that taught us the Muslim religion, God said he put that on us as a sign to show us who he was in these days. Watch this. Let me show you who the book of Deuteronomy was wrote to. Yes, the end days. We are in them today. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Teach. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. So who is Moses speaking to in the book of Deuteronomy? The Israelites, right? So now we're going to find out who the Israelites are in the Bible. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So when you examine what nation of people got scattered through slavery throughout all the nations on earth. So-called African Americans, right? You ever heard of the transatlantic slave trade? The transatlantic slave trade, you ever heard about these things? There's another slave trade called the sub-Saharan slave trade that happened way before the transatlantic where the Arabs had us in slavery. We're going to show you right here that God documented it in the Bible. This is our history book. This is our records right here in the book. But we don't read the Bible. We don't even seek out the Bible to understand the truth of the Bible. Watch this. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from, what, from the one end of the earth. So it said we was going to be scattered among all people. Meaning what? Some of us was going to be scattered among the so-called white man. Hence, that's why a lot of us is in Christianity here in America today. Because we were scattered among him and he taught us Christianity. Some of us had the Arabs as our slave masters. Hence, that's why a lot of our people is in Islam. Read. From one end of the earth even unto the other. And there. And there meaning when you got off those slave ships, what was going to happen? Thou shalt serve other God. Other what? Other God. No, you was going to serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You was going to serve the God that's described in the Bible as a black man. Let's see what the Bible says. Other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Our forefathers never heard of Allah. They never heard of Caesar Borgia. They don't know those gods because they're not gods. Even wood and stone. Even what? Listen to this. Even wood and stone. So when you examine it, it said we're going to serve other gods. Then it goes into explaining the two major gods that the Israelites, which is the blacks and Hispanics, would serve in the last days. It said even what? Even wood. Even wood. What is that going into? You got the Christian cross, the wooden cross. Christ died on a what? A cross, right? See, so sir. they took that and said, put that on your neck and make that your God. And matter of fact, we're going to put the white man on it and say that's Jesus that died for you. Teach. When that's not documented in the Bible. Bring it up. Now, what's the stone referring to? And stone. And stone. What's that going into? 
What do you think about when it says stone? What do they got to do in Mecca? What do the Muslims do? They go around what stone? They, they have to go around the what? The Kaaba stone. The black stone. God said that our people was going to be in the midst of that religion. Right. God said our people was going to be in the midst of doing what? Serving other gods. Teach. So what's going on? How do we get to doing these things? What did we do wrong? Where do we fall off the horse at? What, how did God allow us to go into serving other gods? If he the God for us and us only. Let's jump to 15. What happened? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. I mean, if I say something going to come to pass, is that right now or is that in the future? In the future prophecy, right? Remember, this is Moses thousands of years ago. We just came out of Egypt. If you remember, if you know anything about the Bible, when the Israelites, which is the blacks and Hispanics, was in Egypt, we was in slavery. Right. You know anything about that? Any history about the Israelites being in Egypt? Teach up. A little bit. Let me show you we was in slavery. Give me Exodus 1 and 13. Then we're going to jump right back to here, right? Because we're still dealing with how do we learn the Islam religion? How did we learn the Arab man religion? Why is we serving a God that don't look like us once again? We start with the white man Jesus. Then when we leave white man Jesus, we go to the Arab man and say that's God. But we never find a God that look like us. Bring it up. That our forefathers worship before we went into slavery. Watch this. The book of Exodus, chapter 1 and verse 13. Bring it up. Remember, we're going over what were the Israelites doing in Egypt. Remember. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. With what? With rigor. Meaning great hatred. The Egyptians had the Israelites, the blacks and Hispanics, in hard bondage. It's going to say that. Just like here in America, when we got here to this land, what was we doing? We were slaves, right? We was in bondage. Watch that. We was the same thing back then. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage. With what? With hard bondage. So now, go back to Deuteronomy 28, 15. Now, Moses is telling us, we just got out of hard bondage. Now he's speaking to us again. He's saying, if you don't do what God told you to do, watch this. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. So God said, if you don't hearken to me, and listen to the commandments that I gave you to do, this day, what's going to happen? That all these curses, what? All these curses Hello? shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So what's what the curses that came to overtake us? We just read it. Previous, before you read that. What was one of the curses? Bondage with us. Go ahead, go back to 64 again. I want it to be clear and easy for you to understand that we learned this through slavery, Islam. Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 64. Remember, it said, one of the curses, he said, curses was going to come upon us, right? Then we're going to jump to 50, 64 to see one of the curses that happened. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one, from the one end of the earth even to the other. So it said the Lord will scatter us among all people. Remember, we got scattered among the so-called white man, transatlantic slave trade, and the Arabs. They scattered us as well. When we go to the book of Joel, we're going to go into the history, how we got in slavery by the Arabs. They had us as slaves. They had us as slaves. They was never our friends. That God was never for us. Right. That was a God of punishment and judgment. Because every time we go outside of serving the God of the Bible, we get judged. That's right. We get jacked up. Just like if you go outside of doing what your parents tell you to do, it's judgment behind that. That's right. It's a butt whooping behind that. That's right. It's consequences behind that. You can't go here, you can't go there, you can't do this. God is the same way. Watch this, read. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Remember, this is one of the curses. That's how we know we're the Israelites. Because we're in every religion outside of the, what the Bible say do. Right. We're in every ideology outside of what the Bible told us to do. 
God gave us rules to follow. Never religion. When you read about the Ten Commandments, is that religion or is that rules? That's rules, right? Right. So where do we get this religious stuff from? Read. Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. Remember? Stone going into what? Islam. Give me Joel now. Joel. How did we get that religion forced upon us now? You got a question? Do we have a... We got on the flyer, the back of the flyer, our information on there. But before you leave, I want you to check this out so you can have a little bit of understanding so when you start watching and learning, it can click with you faster. Then you can come build with us and come grow. And you be out here doing the same thing, teaching your people. Watch this. Joel chapter... I'm going to start from verse 3. We're going to start from verse 3. The book of Joel chapter 3 and verse 3. Bring it out. And they have cast lots for my people. What the Bible say? And they have cast lots for my people. What does that mean, cast lots? I want you to look at these signs right here. I want you to look at these signs. It said, they have cast lots for thy people. What do you see going on right here? We can sow. Nigga, 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 sow to Tennessee, to Mississippi. So all over the planet we were sold. The Bible just prophesied that was going to happen. Thousands of years before it happened. Watch this. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot. And it said, they given a boy for an harlot. So you know that holiday, so-called holiday called Christmas? What was going on in slavery when Christmas was going down? What was black people? You was the gifts. Bring it you up. were the Christmas gifts. That's right. So what are we doing celebrating these false holidays Bring it out. that was put here in America? In the Bible, it said we was going to be given for an harlot. That's why your men walking around today as fornicators and whoremongers, that's all they're thinking about, is getting in land with the next woman. Jeez. God already said that was going to happen to us if we went against the commandments of God. Right. Remember, all this evil came upon us because we broke the commandments. That's right. Watch this. And have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine. So our women were sold as well. They were called, what you think, what, what's the word, wenches. Meaning, whatever the white man was ready for you, you did whatever he wanted to do to you. This is what was going on in slavery. Why? Because we went against God. Watch this. And so the girl for wine that they might drink. Come on. Yay. And what have you do to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? Now he finna get into the people that did this to us. He said, what have you to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? These are two African nations, Hamite nations in the Bible. Right. Watch this. We still dealing with the Islam. And all the coast of Palestine. And all the coast of Palestine. Who is that today? Those are your Arabs. Bring it up. Those are your Arabs. So it said the African man and the Arab man came together and did what? And they have cast lots for my people. Wait a minute. We just looked on the signs and we see the lots that's being cast for our people. Sold in Tennessee. Sold in Mississippi. Sold in Georgia. These are the lots that the Africans and the Arabs did to the Israelites, the blacks and Hispanics. Right. Remember, this is how we got in these religions. We was never into any religions. Our religions was the laws of God. That was the religion of the Israelites. Doing what God told us to do. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.